Hey guys, it's Amanda. What's up? Today we're going to be going thrifting. It's Tuesday. I feel like I never go thrifting on a weekday. I always plan to do it and then it never ends up happening. But I've recently tapped into a new routine. I almost feel like I need to do a video just updating you guys on how I've transformed my life with my morning routine because it's now, I want to say 1030 and I'm fully ready to go hit the thrift store, okay? This morning I was actually journaling about specific items I really need to add into my wardrobe because since I thrift all my clothes, I really don't have that much control over what I'm buying. Like if it's not at the store, I simply don't own it. And there are some specific things that I will share with you guys actually right now that I need to buy and look out for, especially because I have some upcoming trips, okay? And I'm already thinking about my lack of summer dresses and I don't wanna be traveling this summer with no summer dresses again like third year in a row i can't do that to myself so with that being said the dresses section is something i really need to check out i also think that i need to branch out of the value village i typically go to because i don't know some locations are better for specific garments and the location i go to does not have dresses i don't know what it is i almost feel like everything on this list I could do a separate video talking about because I'm essentially trying to create a capsule wardrobe. I'm not trying to buy so many more clothes so I just have more shit. Like, no, no, I wanna buy specific pieces so that I don't have to own five dresses, I can own two. Do you know what I mean? But specifically, I'm looking for mini skirts. I'm also looking for maxi skirts if they're perfect because I already have two that I love. And with spring and summer coming, it's not the most important thing. Dresses, as I mentioned, specifically a Missoni beach vibe. Okay, I'm not expecting to find Missoni at the thrift, but if I can find something close, like I'll buy it. I also need some formal dresses and some cute, comfy day dresses. Formal clothes in general are definitely something that I need to get serious about adding to my wardrobe because I don't have anything, okay? And then I also am on the lookout for perfect tank tops, camis with built-in shelf bras. I definitely just need an upgrade on some long tank tops. I would love to find some baby tees with cute graphics and then tube tops and then shorts vibe. I'm looking to buy some baggy loose shorts, low rise denim, honestly like a one teaspoon vibe. I might just buy one teaspoon off of Poshmark. And then accessory wise, I'm looking for hats, cute baseball caps. Those are the main things on this list that I could find at the thrift. I do have specific things that are from retail stores. With all that being said, we have a lot to look out for, okay? And I feel like whenever I go into the thrift store with an intention of finding specific things, it always works out better for me. If you are somebody who thrifts as often as I do, I think it's definitely worth taking a step back and just ask yourself, like, what do I seriously need in my wardrobe? Because as we know, I tend to buy the same things at the thrift every time I go. Okay, before we go, I'm gonna share my outfit with you. I'm also gonna take my vitamins which i'm really excited to talk to you guys about because it has been so long that i've tried to find a multivitamin that checks all my boxes and there's so many multivitamins on the market that i just feel like it's so daunting and i never know what to buy but i've been taking this ritual multivitamin for the last month or so so this is the ritual essential for women aged 18 plus and this is basically formulated to help fill nutrient gaps in women's diets it's a clean and high quality multivitamin that is formulated to support the key nutrient needs of women aged 18 to 49. rituals ingredients are vegan friendly and major allergen free that includes gluten I am celiac, so that's very important to me, as well as a non-GMO project verify. And then this multivitamin is also third-party tested for heavy metals. These capsules are designed to have a delayed release so that it can absorb in your small intestine, which is the optimal place for nutrient absorption. Also, the delayed release allows you to take it with or without food, which I love because I usually take my vitamins right after working out before showering. Stacking in between those two things ensures I never forget to take them. The patented technology combines oily and dry ingredients in one capsule, so you can take your omega-3 at the same time as your vitamin D. You get key nutrients by taking two of these capsules a day rather than a handful of other vitamins. And these are enhanced with mint, so... They're really refreshing. If you want to try out Ritual for yourself, you can click the link in my description and use the code ASIMMONS25 for 25% off for the month of March. Thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm gonna take my vitamins now actually and then show you my outfit. We're gonna go to the thrift store. I'm really excited. I'm just doing a comfy, casual outfit. It's Tuesday morning, like I'm just trying to chill. 
okay i'm obsessed with this sweater tank top combo because of the exact same shade of gray and if there's something i love it's coordination so this sweater thrifted originally from roots i love it it's just the perfect fit this tank top is actually from h&m i bought it when i was traveling in barcelona this is my most worn clothing piece. I wear this tank top to bed. I wear it during the day. It's full length. These sweatpants I thrifted. I want to say these are one of my first thrift finds. I'm not even joking. I got these like seven years ago. They're Adidas men's extra large sweats. They're perfect. They zip so you can really like make them wide but they're a bit long if I do that. Like it's going all over the road, you know? Go to bag to bring home all of my finds and then I'm wearing my S skate shoes which are cream and match my baby fat jacket. I do feel the need to get on my chair even though I'm wearing my shoes to show you guys how sexy these pants are. They're super big so I tie them but the way that they just sit on top of my shoe is everything. They're so perfect. I'm gonna go. I'm also going to grab a bag of clothes that I have to donate so I can get a 30% off coupon to Value Village. See you guys at the thrift. Okay guys, I am so excited to share this thrift trip with you. I was not, I would say I wasn't ready, but I actually was. Like you heard me going through my journal, listing off all the things I needed to find. This is the first time that I have started off in the formal wear section, specifically dresses. I found this two piece navy blue set. I don't have any navy in my wardrobe. It's not a color that I gravitate towards whatsoever, but the idea of a navy set is perfect to me because the main reason I don't wear navy is just because I don't like the way it pairs with a lot of colors. I don't know what it is about ruffles, especially Especially like this when they're really tiny it's just not my favorite thing this dress I immediately saw on myself at the beach with the Y project clear Melissa heels I'm just gonna say that one time because that is truly my vision with most dresses especially imagining them on vacation somebody definitely wore this to their semi formal or a prom but I just imagine wearing it in a very casual setting it's honestly surprising to me that I don't own more shapewear I just feel like I never come across it but I just see myself wearing this in the summer to dinner being super tan and I love it definitely a more experimental piece for me as I mentioned I'm looking for some Missoni dresses obviously this is not Missoni but the tiny stripes and the color really do remind me of Missoni. Unfortunately, this would have been way too big for me. Also, I'm not really picturing a turtleneck on my Missoni beach moment, so I decided not to add this to the cart. This is just a super classic black dress by Jacob. I love all the cinching on the sides and how it drapes. I don't love that it's a subtle v-neck. You'll see when I try it on, but honestly, who am I to talk? Like I have no dresses. I don't own one black dress. This is going in the cart. Do you know what I mean? As I was filming this, I remember I thrifted a beautiful silk polka dot dress by Bebe. It's a tube dress with a sweetheart neckline. I'm not here for the fact that the polka dots are these little ovals. I found this gorgeous off the shoulder black dress. The brand is TRF Collection. I didn't know how I felt about the one shoulder being so wide, but you guys will see in the try on. I actually quite like it. This was a guest dress that actually is not cute at all. I think I was on a high of just finding so many dresses that I'm like, another one. If it had a drop waist, maybe. At first glance, this dress isn't giving anything crazy, but it is Casablanca, so I decided I would pay it some more attention. I was about to flip right by it. It has these asymmetrical sleeves, really nice ruching detail. The condition isn't perfect, I will say. It's definitely a bit pilly and not the thickest material. I wish with everything in me that I could wear halter tops, but I can't, like I get a headache immediately. But I still wanted to try this on because I thought it would be very flattering. I overlooked the fact that it was marked as a size large. And then when I tried it on, realized like it was too big. I don't even know if I filmed the try on clip with it on. I found these little gap capris. I only filmed them because I have the matching hoodie. I'm like, do I need these? But no, you can tell they're pretty washed out and I just don't need these for obvious reasons. I checked out all the tops. I found this Le Chateau blue wrap top. A bit too blue for me to wear every day, honestly, but cute silhouette. And then I found this mini black shrug. I almost didn't even add this to the cart just because I don't know, there's just something about it that I don't love. I love finding things I already own from thrift. I have this exact seduction tank top in white, which 
obviously is more in line with what I wear. I don't think I would ever wear this color. I love the neckline of this Adidas sweater and just the spell out of Adidas massive and centered, but obviously the star pocket was not it. But just imagine if that was not there and Adidas was written in, I don't know, like the same cream color. I immediately knew this was garage just based on the massive neck collar. I don't even know what this kind of collar is called. I just remember not liking these when I was younger. So I was like, mm, I don't even know if I'll add it to the cart, but I did and let me tell you, I actually loved it. Okay, jaw on the floor. This is my fucking dream hoodie to find. Maroon is, or I should say was, my favorite and most worn color when I was younger, like in middle school, I would wear the same maroon Abercrombie knit sweater every single day. So finding this full maroon, every single detail maroon Hollister sweater was everything. Okay, we checked out the skirt section. I found this great maxi skirt, but it was super, super thin. So not interested. And then I found these insane Puma flats. I have found these exact flats, I think three times now at Value Village. Never have they been in my size though. These were a size UK4, but the condition was incredible. It's been so long since I found a great lingerie piece, but this gold shimmery Lacenza slip is so cute. I love the color of it. Immediately I would wear this out to dinner, like again, with a tan on the beach. I was kind of intrigued by the fact that this corset top had these thicker straps. And then I took a closer look and saw that it was by Spirit, which is actually like a Halloween store in Toronto. So I did not add it to the cart, mostly because I just know it would not be comfortable. I almost overlooked this jacket on the rack because uh, I don't think that I need a black puffer jacket, if I'm being honest, until I took this off the rack and saw how big the collar really is. It's also by Hurley. This is the perfect color of leather to me. I love it so much immediately in the cart. It's by Suzy Shear. I love all of the seams, the tiny pockets, the details are perfect on this. This definitely is the best find of my thrift trip. This vintage Le Chateau brown leather jacket is actually gorgeous. Unfortunately, it was a size extra, extra small. I did not let that stop me. I still added it to the cart and tried it on. I mean, it did not fit, but it's so beautiful. I love the welcome tag with all the tiny polka dots. If you've been watching these videos for a while, you know that I'm obsessed with big bands on jackets. I have to say I'm not against the purple, but I just feel like it's a bit too muted. I don't know, it's a bit off. Love finding Miss 60 at the thrift. Although whenever I do, it's not a piece that I would wear. Like I would actually never wear this jacket even just because the thread on the buttons is pink with the black, like I ate it. So we did not add this to the cart. I was iffy about this jacket at first, but as I was looking at it and saw that it had this ruching on the back, on the sides, I was like, wait a minute, like what is this? I don't typically wear a lot of pink, but if I ever were to wear pink, it would be this jacket with huge white earmuffs. You know what I mean? I found this all beige ski jacket. This looks like the Aritzia jacket I had when I was in grade eight. The silhouette is exactly the same. This is just probably a knockoff version. But again, the fact that every detail is beige is what I liked about this. Immediately, if there was a black zipper or anything, I wouldn't have added it to the cart. This long coat was beautiful with the fur collar and cuff, but it would have been too big for me, honestly, thank God, because my cart was overflowing at this point. And as much as I love finding stuff at the thrift, like it also overwhelms me. And I think that's mostly just because I'm filming. I'm like, I can't, like it's too many jackets, please stop. This Sherpa coat was cute, but nothing that I needed, okay? All white puffer, so gorge. I did not even add her to the cart because the hood was just super thin. It looks a bit more voluminous on a video than it actually was in real life. And that really threw me off. This jacket definitely has a vibe, but I just hate this collar. If I was really desperate and wanted it to work, it obviously would, but I just don't like this ribbed collar with the leather, it's weird to me. And then I found an OG Abercrombie & Fitch jacket. They used to make a lot of outerwear and hiking gear, but I've never found any of it at the thrift. So I was kind of excited. I definitely need a pair of heels like this. I think they're so funny and I'm missing them in my wardrobe currently. These might be a little bit more wearable. They were a size 10, unfortunately, so they were too big, but the condition of them is perfect. Like these don't even look like they would fall apart under my feet, which is what most of my thrifted heels do. The fact that we're not even done with the jackets yet is a little bit too much, but I loved this. And 
immediately imagined this with a black bubble skirt, super cute. And then this white moto jacket was kind of mid. I did not add it to the cart. Honestly, there were so many sections I didn't even look in because my cart was overflowing and I was so overwhelmed as to how I was gonna film all of these try on clips for you guys. I normally hang up all of my finds on a rack to show them to you, but we could not do that today. Also, it was Seniors Tuesday, so it was so busy. It was actually probably the most insane thrift trip that I've had in a long while. I just started with what was on top, which was the Vulcan purple jacket. And I don't even dislike the color. I just don't think it's perfect. If it was army green, no questions asked, I probably would have bought it because the condition was really good and it fit pretty well. But there's just something a little bit off about it and I don't even need to get to the bottom of it. I just don't need it. Do you know what I mean? It was one of those where I was like, mm, don't need it. So that was the first item in the no pile. Next, I tried on this jacket, which I picture more as a shirt. Like I would wear this out as a top with a skirt, but it was too small. The sleeves were too short and the middle button was pulling in a really unflattering way. As soon as buttons start to pull, like I'm done. I'm not buying it. Okay, the gorgeous Le Chateau jacket is like actually everything. I really do wish this fit me, but it was not even a question. Like extra, extra small is definitely too small for me. The sleeves were too short. I could barely bend my arm. This is just such a timeless piece that I would have loved to have in my wardrobe, but honestly manifesting another one. Then I tried on the all beige jacket, which I immediately loved. I can't lie. And I'm like, okay, I don't have a jacket for skiing. I don't even ski bitch. Like what? I love the color of the fur with the jacket, with my hair, everything is so cute. I didn't take a clip, but when I did it up all the way, it was super uncomfortable. It's just too long under my chin, but it was definitely in the maybe pile. Here you can see that the pink jacket is a little bit metallic. It fit me really well. The collar is truly what makes this jacket cute. And then also the subtle ruching on the back. I was really, really conflicted because I mean, <laughs> Metallic pink puffer jacket was not in my journal of things that I needed to get. So this went in the maybe pile. Then I tried on the Susie Sheer leather blazer. Honestly, really cute. Like I don't really have much to say that's negative about this. It could have been a little bit tighter. And I feel like I do come across these somewhat often in the thrift. So I thought I would wait it out a little bit. No words will do this sweater justice. I love it so much. The fit is perfect. It's so comfortable. It's so typical for me that when something looks like it fits, I'm like, it's too small. But for some reason with Hollister Abercrombie sweaters, they're so comfortable, even though they're really tight and flattering, but I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm wearing it every day. Next is this black Hurley jacket, which immediately I knew I was getting, like it shocked me to the core. I just did not expect to find it so flattering. I sent my brother a photo. I was like, look what I just found. The only black winter jacket I have is massive. Like I wanna say five times the size of this. So it's not that I didn't need this. I just didn't expect to find it. This is definitely the most vibrant clothing piece I've put on in a while. It's honestly so cute with the green Adidas pants. And as I was filming these clips, it was growing on me more and more. I think it's super flattering to actually pull the collar onto your shoulders and it kind of gives this off the shoulder vibe, which is so cute. It does V down in the front a little bit, which I don't love, but I mean, you guys know I love a zip up sweater. So if you can guess, we ended up purchasing. This this is the off the shoulder dress that basically has a sleeve. Like this is a really thick strap, but it fit me so well. I think the ruching is really flattering along the sides. It was a little bit hard to imagine over my pants and with the tank top under, it was a bit tight, but I thought I would take a little leap of faith with this dress as well. I actually have not tried it on since being home. I have to do that. One of the straps on the slip was actually broken, so I didn't end up purchasing. You can kind of see the length and silhouette of this Jacob dress a bit better hanging like this. If I'm being honest, I don't love the way that it wraps the way that it does in the front. I think it's kind of cringe. It's giving like a bathing suit that I wore when I was really young, you know what I mean? But it fit me really well, and again, who am I to have this opinion? Like I don't own any dresses, so I thought I would bring it home. I'm gonna try it on again and we'll see. I thought this was cute. It wasn't anything insane. This is the nude mesh shapewear dress, which let me tell you, trying this on in Valley Village in front of everyone was definitely a trip, but I thought it was really cute. There is potential in this for sure. Again, imagine the tan, okay. As I was filming this 
Honestly, I'm like the quality is just not there. I'm not trying it on. This blue dress was too big, which is so unfortunate because I honestly would have bought it. I think it's really cute, but with strapless, obviously fit is so important. It took everything in me to try this on. You can tell, like I just like don't really love this. It's the last thing I'm trying on, it was the first thing I put in my cart. Not really here for the blazer. I did hold up the skirt so you guys can get the vision. Like it's cute, I don't need it. So these are all of the items that I really wanted to purchase, but I obviously was like, you're not buying all of those. There's three jackets in there. So let's be a little bit more selective here. Out of all of those garments, I took out the nude jacket and the pink jacket. And then I decided to get everything else. So this is the most that I've purchased from Value Village in one trip in quite a while. I ended up buying seven things, but I'm so happy with everything I got. I feel like I finally stayed true to my goal of finding dresses and formal wear. Like just from this trip alone, I'm adding three more dresses into my non-existent dress collection. Like, thank you. Also, it was snowing. This was like the best day of my life. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Come Thrift With Me. I'm so excited and motivated to keep making these because I'm really serious about getting my wardrobe to a spot that it needs to be. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.